In this video, we're going to look at two different ways that you can download pictures from Facebook. Now, you should only do this with pictures where when you're downloading them, you're not violating any copyright laws. So just, you know, friends and family pictures and things like that that are open and free for you to download. So on Facebook, there's a couple of options. Uh, well, there's really one option. Sometimes there's a download uh, link here. When you go to view a picture, now you can notice here with this picture, if I come down here and kind of hover over the options, I have the option to download this picture. So you can go there to options and hit download. If you hit the reload button here in Safari, reload the current page, or if you right click or control click on top of the tab, that will reload that tab and you'll notice that when you reload a tab it puts the picture in its own page as you'll notice here it doesn't put it in kind of that call out and then if I scroll down here you'll also notice the download link right there so when I hit download from a picture in Facebook now this is in the Lion operating system you saw it jump up to there which jumps up to the download area that drops it into my download folder and then that launches an application called Preview where that picture opens up. So you'll notice that Preview is open right here and it's opened this picture. If I wanted to take this picture and drop it into iPhoto, then I could grab it right here by the proxy icon, which is right to the left of the picture's uh, file name. You'll notice there I've got a hold of it. I would just drag it down and let it go right on top of the iPhoto icon and that would drop it into iPhoto. So that's how you download the picture through the download link. But a lot of times with pictures on Facebook, you don't have that download link. So if I'm here still on the target page, if I come here into their co cover photo uh, album and I reload that page, you're gonna notice when I scroll down here that I don't have that download option. So again, if you have the right to do this, the other way to, uh, you're not necessarily downloading a picture, but you can capture the picture is, if, is effectively just take a screenshot of it. So what I can do is if I hit Shift Command 4, that will give me the option right here. You'll notice that my mouse has turned into a little target and I can highlight across that picture right there and then let it go. And that has taken a screenshot of that picture. Now on a standard Mac, if you've made no changes, that drops the picture onto your desktop. On my Mac, I have made a change. So that drops the picture into a folder called Screenshots 2. So to find that picture in uh, on your desktop, you can go to Finder uh, and look right here inside desktop. Now in my desktop, it will not be there under images because I do not save images to my desktop. Uh, we get too cluttered with all the screenshots that I take. So it's here in screenshots too. Uh, a screenshot names itself, as you'll notice there with the date and time of the screenshot. And if I double click on top of that file, that will open preview. You see the picture we had open before. And now there's the screenshot right here. And if I wanted to drop this into iPhoto, same thing. I would just grab it by the uh, file name up here at the top, drag it down to iPhoto. So those are the two methods to grab pictures out of Facebook. If you have the download link, that's easiest. If you don't, then you can just grab a screenshot once again for pictures where you don't have any copyright viol violations if you do so.